Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Actuary, and as you can see, it's been two weeks since I've uploaded a video. The reason being is I wrote my fellowship exam yesterday, which means I have basically been off the internet, been trying to be off most of social media, and just focus on that exam. My phone would every now and then pop up with a little comment here or two, and I would go and maybe sometimes reply to them. But as you can see, I've got a lot of comments and I haven't replied to them. It's been a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be replying to these videos. I think I go I click video manager. It's quite a weird user interface that um, YouTube has. Okay, I want to go community and let me answer some of the, the comments. As you can see, a lot, of, a lot of your comments sometimes end up in spam. So if I don't reply to you, please just post the message again. Also, sometimes people write a message, I go to check it, and the message is no longer there, which is weird. So if I don't reply to you, it's probably because YouTube messed it up and not, not me. Um, although, wait, I think this is, there is some spam. I think because whenever you post about cryptocurrencies, some people do... Do come look, but like, why is that spam? Why, why is that considered spam? So I think I I click approve comment. Um, need an expert. Okay, yeah, that that is spam. I think that's spam. I'm not even going to read that. Um, Ripple. Yeah, whenever I think you see like a little link, I think okay, okay, that's like legit spam. But why was that other guy's thing spam? Um, okay, let's go publish comments. So yeah, I let's. So I have have been able to reply to one or two people. Um, I think let's let's how far back do I have to go to reply? Um, how do my friends speak Spanish? Uh, should I be like no hablo español? Well, I don't know. Is that how you say it? I don't speak Spanish in Spanish? Um, as you can see. I don't. Unhappy face. Okay, let's let's reply. I, I'm I'm even going to ignore the Grammarly things there. Um, okay, let's see. LTC is silver and Bitcoin is gold. I'm going to reply and say Litecoin um, is going to overtake Bitcoin one day. Is going to overtake Bitcoin one day. And become the new digital gold. And then give a little, because I'm not being entirely serious. So that's what that little face means. Um, what would one need to study at UNISA in order to have a chance of becoming an actuary? Okay, and that's a comment on my channel. So I would say mathematical statistics statistics it's always battle to say that word statistics mathematics statistics and um, maths and accounting one and economics one I'll go major maths two um, hey MJ do you have to write these exemptions in any particular order you don't have to, but I would recommend I would recommend doing them in the the number order that they are presented that they are, that they are presented or that they're named that they are named because um, because the later subjects. Uh, require or what would you say require or draws from the information uh, because the later subjects require the knowledge of the earlier subjects but you can but having said that but having said that you can do CT7 in the beginning because CT7 is actually very easy. Um, I don't know why I didn't like the word named. Is named not a word? Hi, I want to give a suggestion. First, if all, I think first of all, your videos are great. Thank you. They are very knowledgeable. 
The thing which is missing is your videos is that they are not so much interesting. I know the stuff you're making videos are technical and boring, but if you change use of different text, colors, animation, sound effects, etc., they'll be very interesting and all will enjoy learning them. I hope you understand what I want to say. So, yeah, you know, I, I get that point. Uh, let, me, let me say that. I get your point. Um, however, I don't have the time or expertise to make the videos look as good as other YouTube content. Um, but I am trying to improve with time. My brother's actually very good with video, so I should get I should get some lessons from from him. Um, I'm a maths lover, but I have a doubt in my mind uh, is that should I go for actuarial science or quantitative finance? I'm gonna say go for actuarial science because um, I don't have to give a reason that's logical. Hey, I can't just be like, go for actuarial science because it's better. Um, go for actuarial science because it gives you a better understanding of the, of the concept of risk. And after all, no, what should I say? Gives you a better understanding of the concept of risk, and there's no point. What should I say? Um, there is no point doing crazy mathematical calculations, mathematical calculations, if the base assumptions are wrong, and actuarial science will give you a better appreciation of what those assumptions should be. So what I'm, I'm saying that is that quantitative finance, they'll probably have better formulas, better mathematical models. But actuarial science will give you a better understanding of whether the interest rate that's being assumed by the model is reasonable or if whether the inflation or the exchange rates or certain correlations are, are reasonable. And I'll give you a quick example. So I read something about someone saying, oh, the correlation between these two assets has been historically strong in the past. Now that they're deviating, there's an investment opportunity because of mean reversion. And this is someone who had a CFA. And I was thinking, no, that you can't, you can't say that or that that line of thinking is going to lose your company a lot of money. And she was actually writing on behalf of a major bank here in South Africa. And just what my thinking was, just because something's had a, a strong correlation in the past doesn't mean it's going to have it in the future. And so what she was saying was that um, she was saying that listed properties and bonds had a strong uh, correlation in the past. Therefore, they're going to have a strong correlation in the future. And I said, by no means, because... If you look at listed property and bonds in America or other places in the world, you see that they do have low correlations. In South Africa, they only have a high correlation because our interest rates both declined, oh, well, our interest rates declined quite uh, structurally, and that boosted both bonds and listed property. So the reason they have a strong correlation is because of that interest rate decline. But interest rates have got to a level now where they're not going to be really declining that much further. And so that correlation is not actually expected to stay that strong going forward. So someone with quantitative finance will, will look at the correlation and say, oh, there's deviation, mean reversion, buying opportunity, whereas an, whereas an actuary will look at it and be like, no, wait, even though the maths and the theory says there's a buying opportunity, maybe there isn't. And, and that's one of the reasons why actuarial science is better than quantitative finance because it gives you this better understanding of risk, what that correlation actually means. So quantitative finance people can probably calculate correlation better than the actuaries, but the actuaries will understand correlation and its relationship to various asset classes better than quantitative finance. Okay, I probably should have hit reply and typed all of that. So I hope you are watching this video and that you're actually getting a, a good, you actually heard that, because uh, I actually should have typed it there. 
Um, I'm South African, and when I'm older, I want to become an actuary. Yes, best of luck. Uh, all the best. Study hard. Study hard at school, and one day you will become. I want to say the best actuary. No, you'll become you'll become a great actuary. Become a great actuary because South Africans make. South Africans make great actuaries. Does that even make sense? South Africans make great actuaries. Oh, I just said something so intelligent in the previous comment, and now I'm, I'm, I'm making a whole bunch of garbage here. Um, all, let's just go with all the best. Let's just, all the best, let me know how it goes. How it goes. Let me hit reply, and we'll hit a little thumbs up. Um... Okay, this is a run around Litecoin. Litecoin has a strong history like Bitcoin, which is why it's considered the silver coin to Bitcoin gold. Definitely Litecoin will appreciate to its true value sooner rather than later. They say, yes, let's hope it continues to rise. And they said reply. Um, I saw that comment, so I replied to that one. Is it possible for students that study at science to have socialized? I mean, can you still go out on Saturday nights? I'll reply, no. No. Saturday nights are study nights. Okay. You have no more social life if you're studying at Cheryl Science. Okay. It, I'm saying that in a joking way. I think, I think by putting a lot of exclamation marks, he knows that I'm, I'm saying it as a joke. I hope so. Um... Is different fields in actuary has different exams? Can you please explain different fields and name of exams? Um, so there are eight core subjects, eight core technical subjects, and then three core application. I spelled application wrong. Hey, application subjects. And that everyone does, that everyone does, but then you can specialize in two subjects of your choice, and then you pick one of, then you pick of, oh my gosh, then you pick one of those to do your fellowship in. Some examples are life insurance, general insurance, health insurance, finance and investing, that's what I did, and banking, oh, and pensions. I should, you should put a comma, you shouldn't say and banking and pensions, you should put a comma. This thing's probably upset with me because I did that, but we've got a lot of comments to do. Life's too short to hit the backspace button. Hi, MJ. I'm studying BCom Accounting. Ooh. CA stream, but want to change this actual science? Yes. Wise decision. This is, this is a wise person. My question is, is there any value in me qualifying as a CA first and then pursuing the actual career afterwards? Ooh, that's a very good question. I'm going to say it depends. This is how you should start most of your actual um, answers in the fellowship level is it depends if you are in final year or busy doing your articles then stick to the CA but if you are in first year I would recommend switching switching now rather than completing the CA. And if you're in like second or third year, I don't know. Why, why didn't it like, it depends. It didn't like, my Grammarly thing didn't, didn't like that. Hi, I'm economic student level two. I want to do actuarial science, advise MJ. Um, how do you pronounce that name? I don't, how do you, I don't know how, you, how would you pronounce that name? Um, let me reply, let me reply by saying, uh, uh, student level two, what? I'm an economic student level two, I want to do actuarial science. 
Um, what is my, how do I advise? It's such an open, it's such a broad thing to say. Join the local actuarial society and start doing the exams. Um, although, let's, what country, what country are you from? Then I can actually give better guidance because each country is a little bit different. Um, oh, yes, this is a good question. Stay away from the B econ adverts. It's dangerous. It no no it it has a super high failure rate because it's the BSc with additional subjects like risk management and economics to which you don't need. And the reason why you don't need it is because the other subjects cover it in, in depth. Um, so yeah, I hope you... Oh wait, it's the same, it's the same guy, same guy. Um, oh, they, they, it's pronounced Dodge. No, isn't it like doggy coin or is it dog coin? It is named after the Italian bankers, rulers of the 15... Oh, how do you add dollar, dollar, dollar using Visa to your challenge account? I'm going to say Shapeshift. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Shapeshift is better than challenge Um I hear the fees are lower. Shapeshift has the blue fox as its logo, as its logo. Um, is this on the app store? Oh, this was my cricket game. Oh, unfortunately not. Um, I did it with another company who, who went, who went under. Yeah, they went under. So the, yeah. So I, I've got the app on my phone still. So I've got the app on my phone, but it is no longer on the App Store. One day I hope to resurrect it. Did I spell resurrect right? Hope to resurrect it and bring it back. Um. Hey MJ, I'm also a student actuary and very interested in cryptocurrency. In my opinion, if Bitcoin doesn't scale and Litecoin does succeed on the Lightning Network soon, mass adoption could happen with uh, Litecoin handling smaller instances. Thanks and Bitcoin doing large, important, very secure things. I 100% agree with you. 100% agree with you. Um, yeah, 100% agree with you. I mean, what, what else can I say? That that's a very smart comment. CD four one two. That's really cool. Anyway, we could get in touch. I could use some guidance for my papers. Um, I can be like, yeah. What what can I help with? Um, ba, ba, ba. we answered that one. Um, no life lull. She's probably studying actuarial science. That's why she's called herself No Life. Because, yeah, like I said, you don't have the social life. Um, what is the name of that book? Oh, that's my little... We just call it the Orange Book. We just call it the Orange... Oh, my gosh. The Orange Book. Um, hold on. Don't I have it like... Don't I have it lying around somewhere? Where is it? Um... Okay, I should actually go and find the book and then give the title of the name. Um, but I don't know where. I don't know where it is. Oh, no, that's another orange book. It's not that book. Uh, we just call it the orange book. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, that, that, he's probably going to downvote 
my comment is going to be like, oh, that's, that's a terrible comment. I apologize for that. Can company secretary students also do actuarial course? Um, I see no reason why they cannot. Um, reply. MJ, how can I apply to study actuarial science? I really want to study actuarial science. Um, what country are you in? Um, because you either want to join your local society or the British society. Do you say the British society or the... The Institute of England, I don't know. Do people still use the word British? I guess so, yeah, Brexit and stuff. Hey, MJ, do you need to pay for the exams? Yes. They are very expensive, which is good motivation to study for them. But if you are employed, if you are employed, then your boss will pay, or should pay, should pay for them. I use the exclamation mark quite a lot, hey. And like, I'm not shouting that. Like, I don't know why, I'm just, I think, I guess the full stops are just, yeah. Oh, look, this one's 56 minutes ago. Hey, MJ, quick question. I passed all the CTs except four, five, and six. I'm thinking of writing two of them in September. I'm thinking of doing CT4 and CT5. Because they kind of go together. Do you agree? And um, I'll be like, yes, CT5 is like a combination of CT4 and CT1. Um, so it makes sense to do those two uh, together. But I always struggled to write two exams at once. Um, it just adds to the stress. It just adds to the total stress. Although when you had varsity that you'd like doing three at a time. So it doesn't like the word like. It doesn't remove the pre preposition. I'm gonna be like, ignore that. I like the word like. Okay. We're going to reply over there. And I think that's it. I think we've caught up with all the comments. Um, if you guys, if I've made a comment, if you guys have posted a comment and I haven't replied to it, tell me in this video you didn't reply to my comment and then tell me what your comment was and I'll reply to you on this video. Or if you have any other questions in general, um, yeah, let me know. I'm thinking of also maybe writing a book, like taking all these questions that people are asking and putting in a nice little book formation um, just so that you guys can like read up on the whole subject and, and stuff like that. It would probably make more sense to write a book than to do a video just because it'll be very long. It'll be very long. Although I think this video has been very long as well. But I haven't made a video in two weeks, so yeah, I, I guess we could have a little bit of a long video. I have made videos on myself actually studying for this fellowship exam, and those ones are, they're like 30 minutes each. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see those, but maybe I'll put them on. They're very, very like fellowship technical, but I'll put them on anyway for you guys. And if you can watch them, you can watch them. If you don't, you don't. It's all good. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.